there, Silver Tip Country. It's Sid the Kid, and today I'm here with assistant coach Brennan Sawney. Brennan, it's been a while. How does it feel to be back in Everett with almost a full season under your belt? It feels uh, reminiscent, I suppose, of when I was here earlier, although in a different role. Uh, actually, I, we're looking at beautiful downtown Everett right now, and uh, there's a few of the stores that have changed, but uh, a lot of the scenery stays the same. Hey, CJ, how are you? That's Stucky's son, CJ, so that hasn't changed, although he's a little bit older now. You spent the last year coaching in Hong Kong. What was it like living in China? Uh, it was a very cool experience uh, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, seeing that side of the world and culture was quite a bit of fun. Uh, meeting local people and, and you know, gaining a few friendships over there was, was also really interesting as well. So it, it was quite a bit of fun. Uh, I must say I really enjoyed it. Did you learn any Cantonese? A little bit. Uh, most people there uh, in general speak English, but some of the taxi drivers and local people don't. So you have to learn enough uh, to get around in a taxi because you, you basically taxi everywhere, sort of like New York City. So I learned uh, taxi cab uh, Cantonese. Can you say something to Silver Tip Country? I wouldn't mind. Uh, hopefully there are some Cantonese speakers. Uh, it's actually just past Chinese New Year in Hong Kong, so I like to say Le Ho Kang Hei Fa Choi, which is Happy New Year. Uh, it's the year of the goat in China right now, so Kang Hei Fa Choi to all you Cantonese speakers out there. You are now coaching alongside your former coach and your former teammate. What's that like? Uh, well, coaching under Kevin is uh, a real honor and a privilege. Uh, I've learned an absolute ton from him. Um, with Mitch, actually, Mitch is not a, a former teammate of mine. He was the he played here before I did. Um, he was a former teammate of my younger brother in Peoria when he played for uh, the Rivermen there. But I knew Mitch from previous alumni events and, of course, around the rinks. Uh, I've, I've I've seen him before, obviously, before I started coaching here, and now that I'm, you know, sharing an office with him, it's uh, it's been a real pleasure for me to get to know him as a friend and colleague. Uh, both of them are extremely intelligent people, and we share similar values. So it's been a it's been a treat for me to learn and and grow uh, from that. How do your coaching styles differ? Coaching styles. Uh, well, Kevin is very tactical. Um, precise system detail oriented mitch works generally with the d um, obviously because he played d so it makes a lot of sense and i try and do skill stuff with the forwards um, when we get the opportunity now we're going to test your knowledge on silver tip history are you ready i am who holds the single season points scoring title single season points scoring title Ooh, it was Zach Hamill, and yeah. then he was defeated by Joshua Winquist. Close. You got the Hamill part right, but he and Winquist were tied. Really? Yeah. Oh. Can you can you tell me the year or the season? Well, Hamill would have done it in 2006, 2007, mm -hmm. and Winquist would have done it last year. Nice job. Who holds the record for most penalty minutes in a season? Most penalty minutes in a season. Oh, that's a great question. Because there's, there's two names that come to mind. It was either Mitch Love or Kyle Beach. Kyle Beach is the correct answer. In 2007-2008, he had 222 penalty minutes, and he even holds second place. Really? Yep, wow. with 196. Wow, good job, Kyle. Okay, who holds the unofficial record for shootout goals? I don't know if it's unofficial. We'll have to check, but I, it's certainly me with a 6 for 8 in 2006-2007. Well, I'm glad you got that one right. Yeah, it's about the only stat I know about myself. <laughs> well, uh, nice job. You heard it here, Silver Tip Country. I'm Sid the Kid here with the Cantonese-speaking assistant coach Brennan Sawney, and we'll see you soon.
You brought the penguin in, didn't you, Trav? When does the penguin come? When are you bringing the penguin in? <laughs> We're negotiating with the penguin.